good morning students this is jay vishakhan so today we are going to see a problem from belt friction right before we proceed we let let me just read out the question and let us extract the inputs that means the given data right a rope is wrapped four and half times around a cylindrical shaft this is a shaft where one side the weight is hanging and the person is trying to hold the rope look at here how many turns are there 1 2 3 4 and 4 and half so that's what it says 4 and half times around a cylindrical shaft which is supported by the bearings as shown in figure right determine the force exerted at the free end force exerted at the free end so this is the free end right this is required to support 2 kilo weight 2 kilo newton weight the coefficient of friction the coefficient of friction between the rope and the cylinder is 0.24 right so let us list down the given data first so the theta equal to 4.5 times around the cylinder the right? 4.5 times around the cylindrical shaft this is one full turn isn't it so one full turn look at here to complete one full turn how much degree it's required suppose this is zero you start here and ends here so this should be 360 degree right if one full turn is 360 then what about the 4.5 yeah right 4.5 into 360 which works out to 4.5 into 360 1620 degree 1620 degree this needs to be converted into radian to convert degree to radian you will have to multiply with pi by 180 into pi divided by 180 which would be 28.27 28.27 radian 28.27 radian mu equal to 0.24 and weight is equal to 2 kN this can be converted into newton 1 kN is 1000 newton right so to find what needs to be find determine the force exerted at the free end this is a free end right what is the force required force required at the free end right solution i am going to draw a small free body of this this is the weight which is acting vertically downwards of magnitude 2000 newton and there is a rope has been tied right so this can be taken as t1 because this is tight side right this is very tight so this can be taken as tight side t1 so t1 right apply apply equilibrium equilibrium condition summation v equal to 0 and summation h is equal to 0 is there any horizontal forces no so therefore we can apply summation v equal to 0 0 equal to t1 minus 2000 this t1 is acting vertically upwards that is a positive y direction therefore it carries positive symbol and this carries the negative symbol as it is it is acting towards the negative y direction right so t1 equal to 2000 newton so what is the formula of belt friction t1 by 
टी टू ईक्वल टू ई पवर म्यू टीटा टी वन यू नो टी टू इज द वन विच यू नीड टू फाइंड राइट देर फोर टी टू ईक्वल टू टी वन डिवाइडेड बाय ई पवर म्यू टीटा यू नो द वैल्यू ऑफ टी वन टू थाउजेंड राइट ई पवर म्यू म्यू वैल्यू इज ऑलरेडी गिवन एज पॉइंट टू फोर यू हैव अराइव द lap angle that has been converted into radian 28.27 so now you can easily find the value of t2 e power open the bracket 0.24 into 28.27 close the bracket 2000 divided by the answer which would be 2. Two six new ten. So T two equal to two point two six new ten. This is the force which is required to lift the weight of two kilo new ton. Right. Thank you.